Which of the following is an example of a function whose graph in the xy plane has no x-intercepts? And so now this is a conceptual question, and we're just going to read through the options. Uh, choice A is incorrect. The graph of a linear function in the xy plane whose rate of change is not zero is a line with a non-zero slope. The x-axis is a horizontal line and thus a slope of zero. So the graph of the linear function whose rate of change is not zero is a line that is not parallel to the x-axis. Thus the graph must intersect the x-axis at some point and that point is an x-intercept of the graph. B and D are both incorrect because the graph of any function with a real zero must have an x-intercept. So then that leaves cho choice C. And the reason we would choose C is because if f is a function of x, then the graph of f in the xy plane consists of all the points x, comma, f of x. An x-intercept is where the x where the graph intersects the x-axis, and since all points on the x-axis have a y-coordinate of zero, the graph of f will cross the x-axis for all values such that f of x equals zero. So this is possible, okay? And th this is where, this will be your x-intercept. And so, therefore, the graph of the function f will have no x-intercepts if and only if it has no real zeros. Likewise, the graph of a quadratic function with no real zeros will have no x-intercepts. So this will be the correct choice. <laughs>